For small fiber neuropathy, the conventional gold standard is to do a punch biopsy where we take a little chunk of, of your skin out of your leg, they put it under a microscope, they measure to see if any of those nerves are atrophying as they go to the skin. And then from there, we make an assumption and extrapolate that to other parts of the body. Now, for me clinically at the bedside where this kind of stumbles a little bit, is that it doesn't take into the account that the distribution of small fiber neuropathy can be different in different people. It's gonna tend for most people to start in your feet, work its way up your lower legs, eventually to your hands, right? That's particularly what we see in length dependent small fiber neuropathy. But a lot of people that get it based on an infection, a virus, an immunization, they might have more of a patchy neuropathy. And in those cases, that patchy neuropathy could be anywhere. The other thing to consider, and we see this a ton, is people that have orthostatic intolerance, when they are upright and we're under perfusing their brain, we're not getting enough blood flow to the brain, what we'll find is that the sensation in the lower extremity looks like small fiber neuropathy. And when you lay them back down again though, and we get blood back to the head, they start to feel it again normally. Now, obviously, this means that there's a problem that's happening in the, the mapping system of the brain. But if we do that consistently, we will start to affect the peripheral nerves as well. And they may start to atrophy because of that signal from the brain. And we may be attributing the problem to being causally the neuropathy when in fact it's secondary to the problem up here. That's the one we want to solve first and see if we can get that back online. So I look at that and say, small fiber neuropathy, punch test is useful, but I want to add into that doing a whole body scan looking at those small fibers so I can understand how they're all working together and then compare that laying down versus standing up so that we can see if there's a difference between the two.